Hi everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we're going to cover a question that came in, how can I export a subsurface scatter render pass in ZBrush? Before we get into today's video, down in the description is a link to download the project file and material I'm using if anyone would like to follow along. In order to export out a subsurface scatter render pass, we want to make sure the subsurface scatter is enabled first before we can export out a render pass. First, let's head up to render, then render properties. Here, we're going to look to make sure that subsurface scatter button is turned on. This will ensure that ZBrush will take into account any subsurface scatter passes that might be happening and provide a render pass for it. If we try to render without subsurface scatter enabled, we can see here that we don't have the ability to export out this render pass, so let's turn that on. Next, we can turn on subsurface scatter in our light settings. If we head up to lights, we can open up light properties and check the subsurface scatter button here. Activating subsurface scatter with the light will cause the subsurface scatter to fall in the light's path. As you can see here, we have it turned off, but feel free to play with this option to see what works for you. Lastly, we're going to head up to the materials menu. Let's dock it to the left hand side by clicking this icon here. Now we're going to open up the modifiers menu and select the second channel which has our subsurface scatter settings. Scroll on down to the mixer menu and as you can see here the subsurface scatter slider is turned on to 100% enabling subsurface scattering within the material itself. From here, let's go ahead and render our scene by hitting shift R on the keyboard. Now that our scene is rendered, let's head up to the render menu, go to BPR render pass and we can see that we now have a subsurface scatter render pass. In order to export out a render pass, we just need to click on the pass of choice, which in this case will be our subsurface scatter pass, and it will prompt us to choose where we would like to save our file. Once done, go ahead and click save and you're all set. Another way to save out our pass is with our ZBrush plugin, ZBrush to Photoshop. To do that, let's head over to Z plugin and go on down to ZBrush to Photoshop, and now we can select the render passes that we want. We're going to leave the current selections activated, but we're also going to select the subsurface scatter pass to make sure that that gets exported as well. Once done, go ahead and click send to Photoshop CC, and that will export out all of our render passes to Photoshop. And then from here, we can go ahead and finish our edit in Photoshop to get our final render. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified each time we upload a video. And please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!